day everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorials today we are going to learn about how to know that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram as we all know a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure so when can we say that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram first let's define what is a parallelogram a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So here in our figure, as you can see, these two sides, the HE and OP, are parallel. And also we have HO and EP are parallel. So this is a parallelogram. Now, if a quadrilateral satisfies any of the following conditions, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Let's have our first condition where we can say that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So here we have both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. For example, we have a quadrilateral HOPE. So the opposite sides we have HE and OP are parallel. Or in symbol, we have the line segment HE is parallel to line segment OP. And another opposite sides we have HO and EP. So they are parallel. Or in symbol, we have the line segment HO is parallel to line segment EP. For our second condition, we have both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. So here in our figure, the opposite sides, we have HE and OP, they are congruent or equal. In symbol, we have the line segment HE is congruent to the line segment OP. Another opposite sides are HO is congruent to EP. In symbol, we have the line segment HO is congruent to the line segment EP. For our third condition, we have both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. So here in our figure, the opposite angles are Angle H and angle P, they are congruent or equal. Or in symbol, we have angle H is congruent to angle P. Another opposite angles are angle E and angle O. So they are congruent. Or in symbol, we have angle E is congruent to angle O. Note that not all of the angles are congruent. Only the opposite angles are congruent. The fourth is, any pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. When we say supplementary, the sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees. So here in our figure, we have the consecutive angles, angle H and angle O. So, if we will add the measure of angle H plus the measure of angle O is equal to 180 degrees. Another consecutive angles are angle O and angle P. So, we have the measure of angle O plus the measure of angle P is equal to 180 degrees. Another consecutive angles are angle P and angle E. So, we have the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle P is equal to 180 degrees. Last, we have the consecutive angles angle H and angle E. So we have the measure of angle H plus the measure of angle E is equal to 180 degrees. For our fifth condition, we have the diagonals bisect each other. So here in our figure, the diagonal EO and the diagonal HP bisect at point S. 
So when we say bisect, they cut each other into two equal parts. So it implies that the side or the line segment HS is congruent to line segment SP or they are equal. In symbol, we have the line segment HS is congruent to line segment SP. Another is we have the line segment ES is equal to the line segment SO or they are congruent. In symbol, we have the line segment ES is congruent to the line segment SO. For our last condition, we have a pair of opposite sides are both parallel and congruent. So here, it combines the condition 1 and 2. Opposite sides are parallel and here the opposite sides are congruent. Now, let's have our examples. We will state the condition or conditions that guarantee or guarantees that the figure is a parallelogram. Example number one. We are given the quadrilateral HOPE and the sides 6, 6, 7, 7. So, the condition that we can say that this quadrilateral HOPE is a parallelogram is both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. It's because, as you can see, the opposite sides here, 6 and 6, they are congruent, and here, 7 and 7, they are congruent. Therefore, the quadrilateral HOPE is a parallelogram. Let's have our second example. We are given a quadrilateral WAIT. Given the measure of each angle, we have angle W, which is equal to 115 degrees, angle A is equal to 65 degrees, angle I, 115 degrees, and angle T, 65 degrees. So the condition where we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram is both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. So as we can see, the, the opposite angles, angle W and angle I, they are congruent since they have the same measure. Also, the angle T and angle A, they are congruent since they have the same measure, which is 65 degrees. Another condition is any pairs of consecutive angles are co supplementary. So, as we can see, the consecutive angles, angle W and angle A, if we will add this one, 115 degrees plus 65 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, which is A supplementary. Now, we also have 65 degrees plus 115 degrees, which is also equal to 180 degrees. And 115 degrees plus 65 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And last we have 65 degrees plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, quadrilateral WAIT is a parallelogram. Example number three. So we have a quadrilateral LOVE. And we have the two diagonals bisect each other at point S. And the line segment LS is congruent to line segment SV. And the line segment ES is congruent to line segment SO. So the condition where we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram is the diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, quadrilateral LOVE is a parallelogram. For our fourth example, we have in a quadrilateral HEAT, angle H is congruent to angle A, 
and angle E is congruent to angle T. Therefore, a quadrilateral HEAT is a parallelogram. So, if we will draw this example, we have angle H is congruent to angle A. Angle E is congruent to angle T. So, the condition where we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram is both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. It's because, as you can see, the opposite angles H and A are congruent and the opposite angles C and E are also congruent. So, therefore, a quadrilateral HEAT is a parallelogram. For our last example, we have, if all the angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, suppose we have a quadrilateral ENDS. And then, in our example, it says that all the angles are congruent. So, we have angle E, angle N, angle D, and angle S are all congruent. As you can see, there's no condition that guarantee that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. It's because based on the condition given to us for the angles, it should be the opposite angles are congruent. Not all of the angles are congruent or the consecutive angles are supplementary. So, therefore, Quadrilateral E and D S is not a parallelogram. So to sum it up, the conditions that guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is first, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So here they are parallel and also here. Second, both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. So, they are congruent and these sides are also congruent. Third, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. So, we have the opposite angles L and V, they are congruent, and opposite angles E and O, they are congruent. Fourth, any pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. So, if we will add the measures of angle L and angle O, since they are consecutive angles, it is equal to 180 degrees. And fifth, the diagonals bisect each other. So here, the line segment or these two diagonals divide each other into two equal parts. And last, we have a pair of opposite sides are both parallel and congruent, or it combines the condition 1 and 2. And that ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next video, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye!